talk about NAD a little bit. So NAD is kind of at the center of this conversation. Where does it come from? How do we make it? And what ends of this three questions and what enzymes use it? Let's, let's think, let's kind of create the framework here. Well, it, it comes from uh, vitamin B3. We make exactly. it from that pathway. Which is niacin. Niacin. It can be taken in, in as nicotinic acid or nicotinamide. They're both vitamin B3. Right. Uh, and uh, the cell takes it, it turns it into ADP, ribose, um, and then uh, a molecule called NMN. And NMN is then converted to NAD. So our bodies are actually destroying NAD through PARPs and sirtuins, and they're, then they're recycling it back from nicotinamide all the time. It's called the NAD salvage pathway. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we cloned uh, many of the genes for that years ago. Um, but it's really interesting because you can change the levels of NAD in a cell and, uh, and change the way it, it reacts and, and change its, its PARP activity and sirtuin activity. And uh, let's see, what else did you want to say? What enzymes use NAD? Yeah, what enzymes use NAD? So the sirtuins, yep. the PARPs. Yep. And about 500 other enzymes. <laughs> Lots not, of enzymes. <laughs> but they're not, the others aren't that interesting. They are <laughs> the enzymes that people have discovered mostly in the 20th century mm-hmm. responsible for life. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're important, but they're boring. These <laughs> are the enzymes that do everything. They, they make energy, they make protein, they need NAD. NAD is a, a carrier of hydrogen around right. from protein to protein. And NAD goes from NAD plus, you might've seen NAD plus is the one that people like to boost, but NAD plus is converted by the cell into NADH. Right. H is a hydrogen molecule and it's right. just a, what we call a hydrogen carrier. Right. I'm already putting people to sleep. And that's, no, no, no. that's been the problem with NAD is that it, it's it's a pretty boring molecule, and it was up until the 1990s, probably the most boring molecule. We probably turned off a lot of kids from science trying to teach them these pathways. But we, then we discovered that the sirtuins are reg- regulated and need NAD, and suddenly all of the the work that we'd been doing on caloric restriction and aging made sense. And I need to credit Lenny Garenti and Shin Mi, my great colleagues who I worked with at MIT, who made that seminal discovery. Now we could link metabolism and NAD to longevity genes and longevity. Mm -hmm. And that was a real breakthrough. 